Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. We're going to take a look at the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar. Today's date is April 25th, 2024. Let's get started. I'm going to put our uh, horizontal line at the 50% midpoint of the move down from the uh, high price of April. That would say high right here to the low price that we saw in April. That's this the price right here. That 50% retracement comes in 1.25035. I'm also going to put a horizontal line at the 38.2% retracement of that same move to the uh, uh, downside uh, and uh, if you look at the uh, price action trading here today we based right against that 38.2 percent retracement after moving above it late in the day yesterday uh, and based against the level in the Asian session uh, and then uh, start its move to the upside that move to the upside did get above the 50 percent retracement and then we tried to hold support against that level uh, right here uh, and uh, right before the uh, GDP data the price up uh, or right after it I should say the price moved up to make a new high for the day that was after the gdp came in weaker than expectations but then the uh, focus turned to the price data within the gdp and the price moved all the way to the downside where we go came right down to where we started the day right at the 38.2 percent retracement since then the price has moved back higher and where do we where do we go we went right to the 50 percent retracement level again so uh we're you know the story is a technical story is that we're ping-ponging between the 38.2 and the 50 percent retracement we will see how that all resolves itself going forward obviously the price is uh, more toward the upper end now as we see a correction off of the move to the downside here yields are still up but they're off their highest level uh, we're also seeing the stocks rebound just a little bit i guess uh and uh with uh, nvidia i'm looking at it now up 21 uh bucks so that's a uh, good news uh, for that stock and uh the Nasdaq index is down minus 1.38 percent. It was down uh, much uh, more than that. So uh, that's uh, giving a little bit of a boost back up to the in the strong versus U.S. dollar lower dollar. Uh, and uh, the question is, can we get above the 50 percent retracement? And then we'll look toward the uh, 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart at 1.25138. If we can't do that, then the ping pong continues with a rotation back toward the 38 percent, 38.2 percent retracement. A possibility if we get below that level, we'll look toward the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart, 100 bar moving average down here in this swing area through here as well. So uh, there's an updated look at the sterling versus US dollar. Things have settled down. We're ping pong in between your tracing levels. My name is Greg Mikulowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.